the, the teacher really hate my oh, presentation. Wow, wow. Did you just end? Oh, why, why the why the meeting end? Yeah, the 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 teacher hate me so much. Teacher hate you like totally do. Uh, uh, that's a misunderstanding. Uh, is that maybe is is not teacher? Maybe the 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 school. The 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 Other, other, yeah. other. What? Uh, Sorry. Why is that? Uh, why is that? Uh, I don't care. I don't care about your problem. Yeah, that. Uh, if they just work in 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 their mind, they actually think about you. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I know. I know. Uh, I also do the same. I also do the same. But like, uh, like we're so forced to not show our emotions to the point where like, uh, oh, yeah. Tisha is here. We didn't show <laughs> my our emotions. That's hello, actually, hello, Tisha. I was saying that yeah, the the toxic like the toxicity in between like girls and boys like. If I don't do something correctly, they will compare me to a woman. You know, like like your sister can do it. This woman, a woman can do that. Why can't you, like like that? I think, you know, it's still going on to this day, and I think only we can change it properly. Yeah, that's why I told you. You know, some of the Asian, some of the adults people, they cannot change that. No, we you can't change. You know, yeah, like that's that. why we cannot. We, we cannot can't change, change the, the, the older, like, especially in China. Practice. Like especially, it's like an Asian rule. You know, like it's most yes. Asian countries. In in China, they still, you know, like I I heard a story, like there was a boy and a girl. They have two, like one daughter and one boy. The daughter was kind of like sick, and they sold that daughter so that they can use that money for the boy education. Like yeah, like those things are still. Very common, like, but not as bad in our country, but still, you know, you know, you are the boy, you are the leader of this family, you know, mm. you are the girl, you like, you're the housewife, like the stereotypes are still here. Okay, okay, I uh, think I'm talking okay. too uh, much. A thing so, about the China is that they just like um some of the family doesn't agree. Like when you have a baby da- daughter, like the man can just leave that child uh, and yeah. woman alone. Like if they have daughter. But they need. They must have a son in the family. That's like their rules. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, like, like without girls, like, how can you even have babies? Without boys, how can you guys have babies? Do you see? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Okay. Stop there. Stop, 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 stop there. Stop. Okay. You better, you better pass here right now. Tadao, just continue with this. The I topic. <laughs> the topic began. You know, greater and bigger than your age. Okay. Now, now let's pause here. Okay, this year. So, is everyone here? So, what what homework did I give you? I gave you a listen book. Yes. Uh, no. uh, the, the letter writing and the reading assignment. Yes. Okay. Read, yes, reading uh, assignments is from page number where to thirty-two page to forty-one. Yeah. Yes. Thirty-two to thirty-one. Let's see. What? No, no, no. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. 34, 34, 34, 34, 34, 34, 34, 34 to 41. 41. 41. 41. Okay. Thirty-one to forty-one. Thirty-four. 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 <laughs> but but we haven't finished thirty-two and thirty. Oh, oh yeah, thirty-five. Already finished. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Come please. Uh, yeah. Sorry. Okay. So What did I miss? Uh, my electricity went out <laughs> miss? after. <laughs> Nothing missed. You know when your electricity went out, the the, the dish. <laughs> <laughs> and then the music. Oh wait, I think I think the Disha lost connection as well. Maybe that's the case. Probably. No. Uh, but do you so, end the meeting or the school organizer end the meeting? No, 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 not 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 you. The, the school organizer. I think he lost connection. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So after I decided to use my Wi-Fi with a uh, battery, uh, the electricity come back. Wait, you use your Wi-Fi and battery, so the, the electricity come back. Uh, I think you I, phrase it. I think you phrase it wrong. I think. <laughs> okay, okay. I, I should no, not no, be. After the okay, okay. Let's out. continue, please. I'm talking too much. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Here, this book. Let's start. Okay, Shelley. Now we are going to start a listen book and page number thirty-four. Am I right? Yes, teacher. Okay. So did I assign someone to read each by page? No. Not yet. Okay, thank you. So that's is good. So before I keep on to the lessons, and I would like to discuss with you about descriptive letter. So if you want to write descriptive letter, what do you need to be careful that? 
Okay, so let me ask you one by one. How, if you want to describe about your home, and uh, which one do you need to describe it? Location. Yes. Location, of course. Family member. Your, your type of house. Okay. Are you asking like one by one? Or yes, you like you can answer uh, as you like. No problem. Like, like the type of house, like a flat or yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. And then family how, member. Okay, family member, and you need to mention about living arrangement, right? Exactly. And then, then when you when you describe about your family member, what do you need to care? Okay, you need to be careful that listing. Okay, there are five members in my family: my father, my brother. Sister. My brother, my sister, myself, <laughs> and myself and me. Oh my God. Okay. Oh my God. Yes. <laughs> myself right. and me. You have to be careful listening, right? Instead of that, you need to mention that. For example, uh, my father. Okay, if you want to talk about my your father, and then you cannot. Um, you need to mention that what is your father's uh, special uh, special thing. I mean, you know, what is your father's interest, and what does your father special do like that. Okay, and then instead of saying my father is nice and my mom is a my mom is a cook at home, my mom's cooking is very nice. These are very obvious and these are very general to describe in this register in this friendly registration, right? So you have to describe you should describe the, the most important the most important instead of the most important, you should mention about the special ability of your mom and your dad and your brother, and then about their hobby as well, you can mention, right? And then next one is how to describe your school. If you want to describe your school, do you need, do you have to try like a touring? No. no. Okay, you don't need to introduce about your school like touring, okay? And you know, there is a, uh, there is an office in front of the, in, in your left hand side, and there is a playground in front of the school like that, okay? You shouldn't describe like that. And what you should describe is depending on your friend's hobby. Okay, if your friend likes uh, playing basketball, okay, you better focus to describing about the, you know, playground or the, about the playing basketball, okay? Yes, and then next one is how to describe your hobbies and your free time. Okay, if you want to, if you want to describe about your hobby and your free time, what do you need to do? Avoid listing. Okay, avoid listing. Yes, that's it. And some of you have two or three hobbies, right? So you don't need to mention all the hobbies. You amend those for three or four, or four hobbies. You have to choose only maybe about one or two, right? Um, but you should choose the one your friends, uh, your friends' interest. Okay, if your if your friends like playing football, you also you should choose your hobby as a playing football because you want you should be the same with your friends because you have you know friendly registration is showing that you are uh, writing a letter to your friend how much you understand how much you know about your friends okay yeah and then page number twenty four this is very important on page number twenty four you would see that how to personalize okay there are some phrases personalizing phrases and there is also example as well right there are many so there are many examples here you should learn it and then try to learn by heart okay and after that try to use in your letter okay yep and then next one and okay so starting from 29 you would see some of the sample letter trying to read the sample letter if you get free time because after reading sample letter you know that what you have to avoid and what you have to learn okay yes okay no, now let's start from 34 that's his descriptive letter right okay now let's start from 34 advice letter okay let's do one after another who want to start first who want to discuss first? Oh, okay, I will go first. Okay, Sidhu, thank you. Oh, funny letters advice. 
uh, advice letter, friendly letters, uh, appear letters written to someone about the same age and who, uh, who, has, uh, who has had for your help with that particular problem. The mm. problem includes are not doing very well in a certain sector, as soon being overweight, uh, moving to a new area, and feeling lonely, uh, being full. Uh, when you write a letter of advice to a friend uh, who has come to you uh, with a problem, uh, remember this point. Uh, you are a friend and uh, sympathetic to the person uh, situation. Uh, you understand the problem and or you may have had the same problem or been through a similar experience yourself. Uh, you must make your friend uh, feel comfortable and reassure, not uh, intimidate. Uh, you must not appear to be uh, superior in any way. Uh, uh, these are some examples you shouldn't, uh, they, these are some examples inappropriate to write. Uh, well, you couldn't have asked a better person. Everyone knows how hopeless you are at math. I'm a student, so I know everything. You did the right thing to come, at, to, come to me. Uh, you shouldn't use this kind of sentence in advice letter. Uh, uh, and the main point is do not give too much advice. Uh, there are two reasons. Uh, uh, there are two reasons. Uh, fact, uh, if you give too much advice, you will get full reading your advice. Uh, and uh, second is to avoid listening and to improve your writing style. Um, and uh, select just a few bits of advice and then support it. Uh, limit yourself a uh, maximum, uh, maximum of three pieces of advice. And don't forget to personalize uh, about each other and avoid listening. That's all. Uh, this are the points. Okay, thank you. For the advice letter, okay, for advice letter, you can, what should I say? Advice letter is that you have got, you have, uh, your friends has got some of the, the problems and you have to give some advice to him, right? And one thing you have to be careful is when you give uh, advice, you shouldn't give too much advice. Only maybe one or two is enough, okay? And then next one is uh, okay. When you write the advice letter, you have to follow. You have to include. Okay, you have to remember to include uh, personalizing. Okay, personalizing, supporting each idea, and avoid listing. That's it. Okay, thank you. Now thirty-four. So you can choose next. Okay, Evan. Hello, Hello Evan. Evan. Hello. Are you sleepy? No, he is. Uh, probably he is daydreaming. Daydreaming. <laughs> okay, it's uh, Evan. It's, I think Evan is not here. Mm. Okay, Maybe I will choose. He is here. It's here. It's here. Oh, okay, Evan is he? here. <laughs> Why do you think I wasn't here? Oh, I mean, no, yeah. you might you might be hungry or you might be thirsty. That's why. Oh, I already have lunch. Oh, what's a bit of your. Okay, Alvin, this is your turn for page number thirty-five. Okay. Wait, can you wait? Do you hear any background noise? Do you hear like clean or something? No. 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 Okay. But I, I'm just I'm deplugging my earphones because I couldn't hear properly. Um. So, oh my gosh. Okay, so advice letter, a basic plan. Basically, you know, this is the introduction of a uh, advice letter. Basically, um, when you're doing an advice letter, it's not suitable to give like a apology or something. Like you, I've been waiting for you for so long. It's a, it's a bit stupid. Like if you if if someone is like depressed or something and they're getting advice from you and you just said I've been waiting for you for so long, they're not gonna feel better and they will just probably end your friendship. So that's not the case. I think you should start by starting with a direct introduction. Like for example, it was lovely to get your letter or it was great to hear from you. And then make that sentence up to a bit more appropriate and give the reason why they contact you in the first place. So for example, um, it was lovely to hear from this morning, but I'm sorry that you hear that you're having trouble with your schoolwork, for example. Now, the reason why you should do this is because, well, if you make an introduction with an apology to a advice letter, I think they will not like you at all. I think it will be a bit rude as well. 
after all the getting advice from you if you cannot say that you miss them you're not going to feel well uh secondly before you write anything the thing is though to share uh the thing is that i just had to talk about only this page right just the end of this page the thing is like after you write the first sentence you have to write about what they're going through you have to make some emotional connection with them and to feel that you're actually writing to a real person so for example now you have to reassure your person you're writing by your friendship by personal personalizing that's a very important part every letter you have to personalize no matter what kind of letter it is and in this advice letter you have to say how you understand what kind of trouble they're facing but like for example don't worry try not to worry these are like the basic examples of that at the very end of the page you can see like the sketch uh, halfway through like the sex sketch example for example it was lovely to hear from this morning but i'm sorry to hear you're worried about your schoolwork don't worry i know it's like because the problem is i couldn't continue because the most important part of this is in the next page unfortunately so do i have to continue talking about it or do i have to give it to another person hello Okay, I think that's enough. Sorry, there there was a dogs fighting. Oh, oh okay. So the, I, I I was saying like the important part of like the ending what is in another page. So do I have to continue yeah. reading it or do I have to give it to another person? Like okay, yeah, only just the page thirty five is enough. And okay, okay. Do you have any question about the writing introduction? Okay, you know. When you write the introduction, you have to be careful is that you shouldn't start with the apology type, right? But for a description or maybe for some letter, you have to, st you should start with apology, right? So you have to, I think I want you to make some notes, you know, like a comparison, like a, you know, a table, you know, you have to draw a table and then here is like a descriptive letter. This one is a advice and next one is the uh, narrative like that, right? If you note down like this, and uh, if you can compare what you have to use in which letter, right? So you have to be careful not to use the apology type, and you have to start with the right uh, introduction. introduction. Yep. And the next one is you have to, uh, you have to start with the uh, contracts, and yep, that's it. And then also, it's also you need to need to use a personal license, right? Okay, page number thirty six. Page number 36 is only just the continuous from page number 35. And here is, you know, when you write an advice letter, you have, you better use present perfect or maybe a uh, simple past tense, right? And there is also some example here. And next one is body of the letter. Okay. So Elvin, can you just next one to explain our body of the letter from page number 36 to 37? Uh, yeah, that's why I was asking you. I didn't talk about the present buffet test and stuff yes. because, yeah, okay. So body of the letter, I think I will choose uh, one, one, of the, one of the two Norris. I don't know which one should choose. Okay, okay so maybe I'm okay. I think you should try. You're the, you're the new one here, so. Okay. No, 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 no. No, no, sorry. Yes, no, no. Oh, I'm sorry, but I didn't finish reading about that. I didn't finish reading about that. Oh, yes, because she has, she said she doesn't know that's homework. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. So, I yeah. just got a book around oh, like. Oh, okay, okay. I thought I thought you, you already. Okay, so never mind. Uh, so, Nora, it's you again. <laughs> yes, no. Um, yeah. yeah. Okay. So, we, you, I have to explain about the body of the letter, right? Um, okay. Yes, yes. So, yeah, wait, I make a note. For this. Oh, okay. So, for the body of the letter, like, you have to write a letter of advice to a friend who wants to, like, for example, lose weight. Am I right? Oops. Yeah. Um, okay, wait, yeah. Am I right? Uh, yeah, we lose weight. So you have to think what you what what, what you know about his personal life that make him overweight, and also like if he loves chocolate or if he hates exercise or something. So you have to get advice advice, and also you should begin by using like personalizing phrases to show how you grow, how you you know about him to remind him of your relationship. I mean friendship. Sorry, 
And you should also remember you have to include only two or three pieces of advice and you have to personalize to set selection of advice phrases and also support and avoid stating that obvious. I have to continue 37. Mm, yeah, so, uh, so here's an example, like I know how much you like chocolate, but, um, and oh, I know you, you're not exactly the most energetic person or something like that. So what are the pieces of advice you could get, give your friend? Like there are many possibilities, like you should give chocolate, give up chocolate, or you should play or you should join sports club or take up walking. And, and it also talk about advice phrases, for example, like you could or uh, why don't you or how about, what about, have you thought of if, you, if I were you or something. And yeah, you should try not to use the same place more than once because you have to give only two or three pieces of advice. So that means you need to use only two or three of advice pieces. Okay, yeah. yes, that's it, thank you. You know, when you start to advise, you have to show that how, how much you know about him, okay? So here you said that, okay, I, I, I really like, I know that, okay? I know that you love chocolate, but, and you should start like that, right? Okay, now 38. Yes, Nora, can you choose next? Um, so we cannot hear you. Sorry, teacher. Yes. Okay, now we can. In page 38, um, note how the sentence builds up. For example, like, I know how much you love chocolate, but have you thought of cutting down on junk food? When you're making your suggestion, the first piece of advice should be like, uh, the best thing you can do it or the most important thing you can do is. And for the last piece of introduction, you can write, whatever happens, try to, or whatever you do, don't forget to. If you want to give a piece of advice to your friend, uh, it could be written like, whatever happens, try to join the sport club, which would be a great idea if we give up chocolate. Uh, when you're given an actual advice, simplicity is the main point, and you shouldn't turn your letter into a biology lecture, and especially when the topic is about health and sport. And also, you shouldn't list vegetables or write about vitamins, minerals, protein, or the digestive system here. And these are some example sentences. Uh, like, it would be a good idea if you ate the right things. Or uh, have you thought or have you thought of taking tennis? That's all, teacher. Okay, thank you, John. Yep, here, here you know. Okay, you better right. You better highlight is here. Is a keep it simple. Okay, when you give in advice, simplicity is the key. Okay, you need to give the the advice simply, and be sure not to turn your letter into a biology lecture, especially if you are discussing about the health or the spots or some uh, like a smoking right if you're even though you're your top even though your topic the one the topic you have to give advices look like uh, maybe related to health you cannot uh, how should i say you cannot give you shouldn't try like a given lecture to your friends okay just only give you have to give the advice that's it and here are number one and two advice phrases that you can use as your own yeah, it's the first one. And the second one is, uh, the first one is advice phrase, eat the right things. And the second one is advice phrase and take up the uh, sport or uh, tennis. So that's just easy to understand that. Now 39. Yeah, so can you choose next? Uh, one. One. Uh, okay. Um, please 39. For the phrase, uh, do some exercise means exercise is exercise in general sense as opposed to inactivity and is also meant for someone who spends a lot of time sitting, watching television or studying all the time. 
uh, some examples uh, you ought to do some uh, warm up exercises. Um, what, uh, whatever happens, uh, don't forget to take it easy at first. Uh, whatever you do, don't overdo it. Uh, and finally, you need to give a reason for carrying out your advice, uh, which means uh, you need to support your ideas to make them acceptable to your friend. Uh, advice, phrase plus idea plus support. Support, for example, uh, I know you're not the world's uh, most energetic person, but have you thought of talking up walk, uh, taking up walking? Uh, it will make you feel fitter. Uh, you should know uh, that support phrases uh, should also be very simple for example. Uh, it will make you feel better and it will help uh, you keep in shape and it will help you tone up those fluffy muscles and that's all. Okay, thank you. Any questions here? Okay. Uh, 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 at the end of the page, it will help you get rid of the fire. What, uh, what, uh, what does it mean? Okay, is there anyone who wants to answer Sidhu's question? I didn't hear what he said I clearly. Yeah, so do, can you okay, make sure okay, again? Okay. Uh, at the end of the page 39, it will help uh, take the sending. Uh, it will help you get rid of the fear higher of yours. Uh, what does it mean? Is that like a, wait, is that like a metaphor? No, right? It is a metaphor. Okay, so I think it's spare time. It. I say it like something like mm. Mm, I don't know I, I don't I don't know I've not seen that used very often. Um, I I guess it's like like um, for a car there is always a spare tire and it always like put on more weight for the car. So if you like get rid of the girl's spare tire, you will get like I don't know. Um. Basically, it's a metaphor where you will get better. Yeah. You will get better. You can try to be. You, it will help you get better. Basically, it's a metaphor for that. Okay. So here, yeah, like yeah. a spare tire is you know sometimes we use uh you know whenever we go we we bring it right but actually this is not essential. Okay, like a necessary thing. Sometimes if we uh, if we need it we will use it like a spare tire. That's why. Uh, maybe for the bodies, we may have some unnecessary things. I mean, that like, uh, you know, much of the fatty or something like the fats or something like that, right? So it is a metaphor of the fats or unnecessary thing of a body. Uh, thanks. Yes, you're welcome. So your answer, uh, tender all and everything. Okay, yes, thank you. Not me. Now let's give it to page number 40. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think he thanked she. Uh, no, he thanked you too, but like he thanked me. No, 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 it's a joke. A joke. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm making a joke. Okay. Sorry, sorry. I'm done. Yes, Elvin, thank you. You really understand your. You, you, you have a mutual understanding to your friends. That's is good. Okay. So, what is next? Who is next? I think he has it. Wait, who else? Juan. Juan, Juan can you choose next? Nei Chi. Nei Chi. Hey, why you don't choose William? Uh, okay, William. Shelly. Oh my God. Okay, I will choose William. Okay, Nei Chi. Oh, I, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> okay. okay, page number three. Yes. Yeah, I have no idea, actually. <laughs> conclusion of an advice letter, as was described, if letters begin your conclusion with generalization and return to the topic in the introduction. And then, yeah, it's mean like, well, I hope this gives you some idea what to do with that. Be positive and op 
of eating with this good luck or i hope this helps as you write down something like join a sport club cutting down on jack giant food because it's mean like in, probably in a walk for me my for example walk for me my sister my brother my friend so i'm sure it's a walk for you too yeah, and then as with the describe the ladder, trying to personalize again before you conclude the ladder by showing your interest. This shows that your consult for your friend is not only why you write the ladder. You want to be kept like informed about the patient and you, you also want to know if your advice help, has helped like your friend is anyway. Yes. Hello. Yes. Can you hear me? Hello. Yes, we can hear you. We yes. heard you. We can hear you very, 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 very clearly. Wait, wait. My connection sucks. Hello. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, we can hear you. Your connection. Yes, we can. Yeah, yeah, we can hear you now. Don't worry. Your voice like a robot <laughs> <laughs> for me. Oh yeah, yeah. Probably. Okay. Okay. Can you can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, no, no clear, no clear. Okay, I think you lost connection a bit. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Because I'm, 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 not, I'm not a robot. That's well. Don't, don't, don't suspect. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so not, can you? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go yeah, ahead, William, we could, we could, too. we could hear you very clearly. Yes. Um. Yeah, can you? Can you please oh. explain? Yeah. Look, can I? Can I ask that question? Public. Okay. Yes. Okay, Alvin, you can ask the question. Yeah. So basically, yes. In conclusion, we don't we don't want to say good luck. Hope, I hope this helps. This like generic stuff. We have to say like someone has done this before. Like someone will help you. You know, feel more friendly. At the end, they said like to encourage your friend even more. Finish with friendly encouragement. I'll be thinking of you. Like, um, apart from that, can you give me like another good example for like friendly encouragement? Like, I will think of you. I I think I know that one, but I, I can't think of any other yes, one yes. apart from that. That's why. Yes, yes, yes. One moment. <laughs> yes, yeah. For the. This helps. So, like. Alvin, actually, I have no ideas. <laughs> yeah, I, actually, I, 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 I think yeah. I was supposed to ask the chef by accident, accident instead. Sorry, sorry, but it's all right. You please answer. Your, your, your organization is bad now. Okay, I didn't hear what you said. Actually, your friend, that, your friend said that, you know, he has no idea too about that. He, he has no idea about that. Oh, okay, okay. Do, so, the chair, do you have any idea, like any examples you can think of? Apart from, yeah, I'll be yes, thinking of. Yes, please. Yeah, yes, I think, please. you know, you better, ask to, that you, are, you better ask this question to your friends. Oh, okay. So, apart from William, other friends as well? Hmm. But I, I know for a fact that they're not gonna respond most of the time. So okay, I will ask everyone. Um, everyone, are you are you listening? Yes, everyone's listening. So, can you think of an example to how to encourage a friend with a family encouragement? <laughs> There's too many encouragement. So I'll be thinking of you. Is the example shown? The last sentence that if you don't know is page forty one. Can you think of any more examples? Mm -hmm. So you mean that, you know, I, I'll be thinking of you? Yeah, that's an example, right? Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah, so are there any more examples? Like, uh, I, okay. I, but I hope you get better. I hope this helps. Like, they already said, like, I hope this helps. It's, it's not, it's not, they said don't write like that. So mm -hmm. I'm trying to think, I'm trying to avoid that, but I'm trying to think of something good as well. I can't think of it, that's why. So anyone, anyone have any suggestions? It's all right if it's wrong. Okay, if there's no clue. Like, I think Piosi do this, shaking his head aggressively as well. How about, don't worry, you will get. Oh, no. Sorry, how about, what is it? No, no, you lost connection. Can you say that again? How about, don't worry, you will get over it. Oh, okay. That's actually a really. You got over it. Is that suitable? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's possible. It's a, yeah, it's a proper one. Okay. Thank you. Um. No. No. I. I think. No. No. Right. Yeah. 
Anyone? Okay, if not, now let's see the, let's do the exercise. Uh, I have a question for you. Oh, okay, Situ, yes, what is it? Uh, 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 generalization, uh, what is the difference between generalization and generalization? Excellent. Oh, this is only just, you know, the language we use. This, British and American. I'm just American and British, that's it. Yeah. Uh, and, and, uh, what should we use? Yeah. You better use British English. The British is Z or S. S or Z. What should we use? F or S. Yeah. S is British, right? I, I don't know, that's why. Uh, S is UK. But it, yes, yeah, UK. S is British. Z okay. is American. Okay, so yeah. we're British. Okay, we're British. Oh, okay. Okay, British. so now let's start. Let's start. Let's start doing a success. So you have to use a slashing of the phrases study to write the conclusion for an advice letter. Okay, yeah. So that's just to practice about the your conclusion advice uh, conclusion letter conclusion of the letter. But I want to go to question number one, two, three exam style questions. Number one, write a letter to advice to a friend who needs to keep, uh, take up a fitness program. And a friend of yours have moved away to a new area and is missing her school. Third one, write a letter of advice to a friend who is going for an interview. I think going for an interview is not necessary. Question number one or two, one and two. Which one do you want to choose? That's it twice. Make a choice yourself. One. <laughs> one. Like we have to write it right away. Yeah, of course. Lucia, I'm like, um, my brain isn't working in this short period of time. So whatever it is, it, maybe try try to be in the time. Oh my god. Okay. Just I want to know is that I want I want to practice. I want you to practice how much you catch that sits. Okay. Maybe that is the best one. I'm not sure yet. Maybe you can do it. Maybe uh, you can you can do it, you know, beyond the after the class or to to get... uh, can I take it as a homework? Hello, hello. Hello. Not yet, not yet hello. right now, not yet right now. I mean, hello. you have to write down right now. Hello, hello. Wait, I, I heard you say like we had to do SSI, but I lost connection. Can you tell me like what which page and stuff? OK, so now your friends already choose question number one. Write a letter, uh, write a letter of, of advice to a friend who needs to take up a fitness program, right? So the letter mass, uh, the work count should be between 150 and 180, that's it. Oh, okay, right now? Yeah, okay, let's start to write right now. Okay. Uh, can yeah, I like, just make a brainstorm first? It's like a, like a uh, motivator. You can do uh, plenty. Yeah, if you want to do, it, if you want to like do. That. Brainstorm, yeah, if, if you want to do. down all the uh, facts, okay. notes that I yeah. want to write. Okay. If you want to do, and then you can do plenty. Or drawing like a question map or like that. Is it question one or two? One. Ah, okay. Give her him. Give her him a motivation. No, like like that. Um, for a, to to a friend who needs to take no, it's not like a motivation. Like you have to give the advice because your friend need to. Uh, your friends need to do the fitness program because he's. He has got something problem. He's he's gaining weight. Oh, I got it. Yes. You know the problem is this is a letter that that should be sent to me instead. <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> so one fifty was around, right? Yeah, one fifty between one fifty and one eighty. That's it. Oh yes, got it. Okay. I'll give you one minute for plenty. Okay. I was I was scared. I thought you said one minute for writing. No, one minute for, for planning, planning. Okay, you can start to plan and then draw a constant map. Okay, draw a constant map. You only just you need to plan for the body, okay? In body, what are you going to write? That's it. Two. 
Um, sorry, uh, my mom came into the room, so I have to go to her. <clears throat> so, what, what, where was the exercise? Uh, the exercise is page number 41, question number one. Write a letter of advice to your friend who needs to take up a fitness program, right? So your friends need to take up a fitness program, but to, uh, for that, you have to give some advice what to do. Okay, especially your friends is gaining weight. Okay, so you better give some, uh, some advice to him. Right, so your friends is now making a concept map or like a, they are planning for the uh, for the body of the letter. Are you then? Like, like, uh, getting ready or right then? Just only, you know, plenty. I, I'm done, I'm done. I'm done. I'm okay, done. you're done. Okay, is there anyone who, who hasn't done for the plenty? Okay. Yes. Then can I hear? Yeah, can I hear what is your what is your planning? So what are you going to write? Um, try to advise him about joining some kind of fitness program, for example, some kind of like um, uh, Zumba classes or maybe yoga classes, sort of like that, and also advising to cut off the oily and salty foods. So you mean that you are going to discuss two points? Yes. Two okay. About so, food and are... the um, sport, I guess. Okay. So you said that yogurt and what is it? Another? Yoga and some uh, Zumba. Okay. So I think you better choose one. Okay. Yes. You better choose yes, one. I, I will choose one. Like, I'm like con um, figuring out what to choose between those two. Okay. So, yes, yeah. that's it. Right. Thank you. And then Situ, have you finished? Yes, teacher. So can you can you, can you discuss what you are going to? Mm. Uh, uh, to uh, uh, to get off a fast food and and uh, and I will advise him to take uh, uh to. To make a hope, uh, to make a habit of walking, and to take up walking, and join a six, uh, a six, uh, join a team. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Uh, so you mean that? So you you said three. You are going to tell three points. Yes, three points. Or maybe two two points. Six yeah. Points okay. So amend those five. three points. Amend those three points. You better choose two. Right? Because only just one or two is enough. More advices, more uh, how should I say? It will get boring for the reader. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Yeah, okay, Nichi. Yes, thank you, Nichi. Um, so I want to advise him to like, go to gym. Yeah. Like first. not every day, but like two or three times mm. a week. Mm -hmm. And I would like to say um. Why don't you give up on junk food so that okay, eating junk food like your pimples on your face would go away? Okay, thank you. Yes, okay, it's a mole. Yes, yeah, what's your advice? Firstly, the limited exercise mm. and uh. I think go to gym. Okay. Yes, yes, going to gym. Yeah, of yes. course. Mm -hmm. You know, 
Okay, I think that would be the general for the well, giving advice to go into gym is general, right? But when you when your friends go to gym, what kind of things he or she need to do it also? You need to point out some specific points, okay? Okay, William. You got it? Yes, yes. It's, okay. it's gym. So what are the like, points? Just like do you want to do exercise at the gym? And then um, what, I, or what I choose to gym, because I love gym. Um, and I'll invite him to come and play with me. And then I'll give him uh, some ideas about uh, healthy food. Yeah. Oh, okay, can, come, come and play with you means that what, what, kind of, what kind of things your friend has to come and play? Yeah, like if you, if you want to play with me, like you should come to the gym, we can play together. And oh, I see that. Have fun, and then I can I can train to you like pausing or cardio exercise, like okay. that. Like that. Yes. Okay. So so you better choose one or two. That's I mean one or two means that okay. If you want, if you ask your friend to join and join and do practice with you, right? So you have to find out what I what kind of things you will you can train to him like that. Oh yeah. So like mm. you you better choose specific things. Right? Because you know there are many many kinds of playing, right? Yes, yes, yes. So, like, okay, thank you. Yeah. Choose a specific one, right? Yes, yes. Okay, so Aris, thank you, William. Aris. Um, I. Excuse me. Can I can I write it right now? No. Uh no, actually this is homework. Oh yes. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I want to make you a shock because I worry that you are sleepy. Okay, so Iris, your turn. Um, I imagine the friend like uh, like he's the person who exercise, so I plan to advise her to try dancing because I found like uh, dancing can also um, make the loss weight uh, weight loss. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what kind of dancing? Like a ballet? Or like a zombie, or yeah. which one? Um, it may be a little bit, or uh, like I haven't decided yet. Okay. Yes. Thank you. That's is only one point. Or oh, how about another? Um, another one is to uh, to give it eating junk food because. Okay. Yes. Item. Thank you. Okay. Yes. So Alina. Yes. Um. Taking on. Uh, Take a walking exercise around 15 minutes. Mm. Yeah, I can exercise and to read the foods instead of uh, instead of instead of meat. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Yes, thank you. Shelley. Well, so for me, I'll, I'll give him some advice that uh, you know, do some sport uh, so that uh, I mean, sport can be addicting, right? Uh, you can get addicted to some sport, for example, badminton, because I enjoy it. Yeah, so some of, some of that and, you know, the less eating and eating a lot of healthy food. Okay, you know, you, you want to suggest that less eating and eating lots of food. So uh, healthy food. Uh, yeah, okay, eating healthy food. So you better point out what kind of healthy food, what kind of food should be less. Right. Okay, thank you. Yes. Uh, here is a young. Um, I write some about like um advice to go to gyms and write the food that you to apply. Mm hmm Okay, you should focus to the food. You know what kind of food your friends should produce, right? One I think you know, when you read the, the text, you may I think you may realize uh you may notice that, you know. Here, the, the example said that I know you love eating chocolate. And then you have to point out, you know, I know you love eating cheese like that, right? So you have to focus on one specific, um, like a, one specific food or like a fruit or something else. Okay. Yeah, no, no. Um, I'll advise him or her to like go to gym regularly and also have a diet meal. Mm. Uh, yes, again, okay. yeah. yeah, sorry, 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 no, no, yes, no, right, yeah, can you come off, can you tell it again? Uh, no, no, me, me, right? Uh, I, you are Nora, right? 
Uh, I'm sorry, I think. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, you're calling Nora. me. Right? Yeah. Are you? Uh, me, right? Okay, yes. Oh, yeah, okay. So I am writing to give like advice to go to gym and stop eating junk food and eat more healthy food. And stop motivating words not to give up. Okay, so as I suggested you before, as, as I suggested your friends before, okay, you have to focus, especially if you want to reduce the, uh, if you want to give suggestion concerning with the food, you have to choose the one which is appropriate, okay, to reduce the, uh, to, re uh, to reduce the weights, yeah. Okay, yes, Nora. Um, I will advise him to like go to gym regularly and also have a diet meal. Okay, only go into the gym. Yes. Okay, yes. If you want to go, if you want to advise going to gym, and then what kind of exercise would you command? Would you recommend? I, I don't know. <laughs> you have to think about it. <laughs> yeah, I, I have to think about it. Yeah. Okay. Because you know, I don't want you to write down very general. Okay, so if you want to, if you want to lose your, if you want to lose your weight, okay, go to the gym and then play it, and then you will lose your, you will lose your weight. You can reduce your weight. Okay, it is very general. Okay, so I, I just want you to focus one thing. Okay, go to gym. Yes. Okay, when you go to gym, and then you better, uh, how should I say? You better practice which one, which one can reduce your weight like that, especially. Okay, especially which exercise can burn the calories easily. Okay. Yeah. And I think that is already done, right? Okay, job. Um, uh, I'll advise her to play some sports like volleyball and to go easy on foods that are rich mm. in fat and oil. Yeah, of course. Okay. And then Elvin, this is your 10. Uh, my, my idea is a bit, uh, uh, it's a bit too general. I don't know, but I will advise him to go to the gym as well. Okay. I will suggest him to try the treadmill first because it will be, it will be unsuitable for him to do anything, you know, heavier at the very beginning and then adapt to it over time and actually improve on him. And I will also advise him to stop, like, cut out his personal energy drink addiction. Mm, <laughs> of course. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, that's, that's all my, that is my advice. Okay, that's advice for yourself as well, okay? Um, I don't drink energy drink. I haven't drank any energy drink, ever, but I eat a lot. <laughs> I eat a lot and I sit a lot. <laughs> okay, and then, you know, I think, you know, maybe some of you may forget it. eating... Eating dinner, okay. Eating, uh, eating too much dinner is also gaining weight as well. I mean, eating too much also gain weight. You know, eating too mm -hmm. much. It doesn't matter if it's dinner. If you eat too much, you will gain weight eventually. But you know, especially if uh, for me, for me, you know, if I uh, I wanna I wanna lose my weight, right? That's why I just reduce eating dinner a lot. And after maybe a month or two months later, then I become slim. Okay, not that I mean I mean slim in the not negative sense. Okay, I become a fit one. <laughs> okay, I have I have some uh, something very interesting about my family. We eat mm -hmm. we eat dinner at twelve a.m. Eat dinner at twelve a.m. Yeah, we eat dinner late. Yeah, so about one, uh, eleven or twelve. This okay. Dinner. You you mean that supper? Uh wait, sorry. Uh, we you mean that we should eat supper? No, 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 no. I, it's it's about me. It's uh, it's about uh, my family. Uh, they eat dinner very late. I don't know why. Oh. <clears throat> yeah. So that uh, I I try to like you know ignore them to not eat because uh it's like my mom and my dad want to like eat with family so they they you know they don't let us eat uh separately. So if you want to eat, you have to wait until they come, come out of their room. 
Sometimes, oh yes, I do join them there. Sometimes if I'm hungry, or if, uh, if I'm not, then I'll pretend that I was, uh, I'm asleep in my room and I didn't respond to them. Because <laughs> it's very late, you know? Yeah, of course. Late. Yeah, of course. Because it is yeah. late. It's a bit too late. You know, we sh uh, maybe some of, some of the researcher, they suggest that we shouldn't eat after, we shouldn't eat maybe a heavy food, right? Not a live food. We shouldn't eat heavy food after 6 p.m. Okay, yes, that's it. And then we still have time. And can I go on to, can I go to the reading books just for a while? I try, yes. Have we done anything in the reading book? No. Uh, did I, I'll go grab the book. Sorry? Uh, I'll go grab the book. Can I have a moment? Yeah, of course, of course. Yes, teacher. Thank you. So, have you got this book? The pink one, right, teacher? I mean, yeah. Not, not the yeah, pink of course. One. The, the, the red one or something? Yeah, the red one, yeah. Yeah, of course, this one. And the writer is John Reynolds. John Re Reynolds, yes. Okay. Yes, John Reynolds. We have not done anything in, in this book, right? Yes, of course. So you have already done page tip page number 41. So your homework is you have to you have to submit tonight, right? Or maybe tomorrow early morning. And then late submitting in the group. submission is not acceptable. Sorry? Late submission is not acceptable. Wait, wait, so what's the deadline? Tomorrow morning. Yeah, tomorrow morning, about 9 a.m. Oh, okay, that's fine. That's fine. I mean, I mean, we have to sign this group chat, right? So we haven't done this one in any pages, right? No. Okay, so let's start. Uh, teacher, uh, teacher, can I have a moment? Yes, okay. So you, you said we have to submit our uh, letter Writing homework six uh, tonight or tomorrow morning. Oh, tomorrow, tomorrow morning nine a.m. Oh, no, no, no. We have to submit. What? When can we submit? Like mm, Friday or tomorrow morning? Yeah, tomorrow morning. Oh, yeah. I think you know you 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 better do as fast as you can. Yes. Yes. Okay. How about tomorrow evening? Ah, that's okay. That's okay. Yes. After, two, after tomorrow. No, 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 now making exercises, okay? Now we will start with how to do how to do note making. Uh, can you show me uh, this book? Can you see it? I don't have a book, but I have video file. Oh, okay. So you haven't received the book yet, right? Yeah, tomorrow. Okay. Okay, before we start discussions about this, have you got any knowledge about note making? Have you got any knowledge about note making? Yes. Okay. If, no. if you are yes, uh, okay. If you are no, no problem. If you are yes, uh, let me know what is your knowledge about that. Hello, Danda. Don't, don't don't stare at me. Uh, is, uh, only me? Is it only me? I thought they were others. <laughs> um. Well, uh, I'm making is um. Basically, it's just, you know, jotting down all the main points and the 
and summarizing the sentence so that you can understand it uh, right after you read it. And it is like essential uh, right before your exam. So you, like, instead of reading the whole test books over, you could of just course. read through all your notes and it will be much easier. And you know, uh, notes making like, it's better off when you, um, when you make notes for yourself instead of trying to copy others, because you know you can't. Sometimes you can't understand the others' notes also. So yeah, I, I guess that's it. Yeah. Okay. So you know, when you when you make notes, and then there may be some differences, right? Some of the people like uh, how should I say it? Like a short sentences. Okay, they make a notes like short sentences, and some people like like a you know like a spider web. Okay, they draw, they draw like a spider web and then in the middle, and then there is a top of sentence and after that they draw some other lines with like a spider, right? They draw like that and then some people, they draw like, a t have you ever heard of the mind mapping? Mind map. Uh, you put the uh, topic in the middle and just spread. Yes, okay. So some people make the notes with the mind mapping. No, you can practice as you like. But one thing, one important thing is note making is very important because you have to read many page, many passages, right? You are going to do summary. You are going to do uh, paraphrasing about the 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 pages, uh, the passages, right? Before you do before you do paraphrasing, especially paraphrasing, before you do paraphrasing, you have to read the original text very carefully and after that you have to make notes some notes from the original test right and after that you have to start to write the whole passage with your own words by looking at you know with the help of notes making right and then next thing is that writing the summary when you write the summary you have to read the original test very carefully amend the you know the whole passage you have to look for the main points a very important points and you have to make notes and you have to rewrite as the summary right that's why note making is very important whenever you do and then next thing is when you do writing okay before you start to write writing and you have to do note you have to make the notes it means that what you are going to start to write okay what you are what are they included in your writing Right, so you have to think about it. So you have to do note making like that. Okay, yes. So now please read page number thirty-four, starting from note making exercises. Please read it yourself first. And on page number three, you would see that in pair to gain as clear an understanding of the episode as you can. Okay, please read till there. From thirty-nine, note making exercises two. Uh, page number 40, as clear and understanding of the episode as you can. Okay, please read it, and after that, we will discuss it. So, sorry, page 39 until page what? Sorry. Page, no, not 29, 39. Page, from page number 39, you would see no making exercises, and page number 40. Impaired to gain as clear and okay on page number 40 there is a paragraph reading practice okay please read that okay okay sorry sorry yes
What did you? For page 40, do we have to just read the reading practice or do we have to read It's a Miracle? Uh, only just read in practice. Uh, yes, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Okay. okay. Are you done? Okay. So let's wait to your friend, right? And while you're reading, I think, I think you can read it, page number 40. It's a miracle. Okay, have you finished page number 39? Okay, so let's discuss that. What does it say? I mean, uh, no making exercises, right? Starting from no making exercises. Yes, Shelly? Yeah, you are going to discuss? Like we were going to use them as a basic for a note making exercise. Yeah. Okay. It will, guide, it will guide us what we should write in the writing and key points and also the important facts. If we take if we do the note making we work. Of course. Okay. And then that's it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you. Yes. And then anybody else? Is there anything uh, you, you want to highlight? Yes. yes. Okay, uh, yes, you do. It to be very easy and not to require any math work. Uh, but it does say a lot for you to make your notes very quite small and you will be tight. Uh, to what? So you should write by a series of bullet points. Mm. Uh, even though it seems very easy, yeah, uh, in actually, uh, actually it is difficult to write notes. Okay. Point. Yes. Then is there anyone? No more, right? So I want you to highlight here is that. Mm, and uh, now making exercises, one, two, three, four, oh no, one, two, three, third paragraph. Okay, what is, you focus your notes very precisely on exactly the requirements of the bullet points. Yep, that's it. Because you have to do note making because you have to know the main points in that passage. And fourth paragraph.
quote paragraph. Okay, you have a full understanding of the passage as a whole. You, and then next is to, uh, two overall purpose of the notes and summary that you are writing. Okay, that's it. Oh, okay, next one, uh, next, sorry, next one, the last paragraph. Please underline. Answer this type of question is a little more demanding than me, uh, than me at first appear and successful response will require you to use your active reading skill to the full. Okay, so when you do reading, there are two kinds of reading, active reading and passive reading, right? So active reading, uh, passive reading is only just you read something for fun, okay, like a reading, uh, reading novel and a journal or something like that. But passive reading is, uh, sorry, that's just passive reading, okay? Active reading is you read the passage and after that, you apply some of the points from the passage. That's we call the active reading. Okay, so to practice active reading and note making is also the best way to practice your, re your active reading skill as well. Okay, yeah, that's it. And then let me give you homework. Please note it down from this book, okay, from John Reynolds, page number 40 and 41. You would see, uh, how should I say, this is a report, right? It is a miracle. Okay, please read this one and then make some notes. Okay, and the next one is page number 44 to 45. It's a size one. 44 and 45, it's a size one. Okay, so you have three homeworks. You have three homeworks, right? The first one is a listen. You have to write a letter and then second one 40 to 41 no making 44 to 45 no making sure do we uh, need to show like uh, uh the note that we take, uh, took yeah you need to you have to submit yes oh. uh teacher for uh, 44 one, one. 45 do we have to read or do the exercise one uh you have to do exercise one uh, so just page 44 exercise one mm, yeah the exercise one yeah here you know you know they will ask you what to do you know what you have to include in the notes making that's it okay uh, how will we submit if you want uh okay we would we would meet on Friday again, right? So maybe till midnight Thursday. Oh wait, I just I just realized. Oh, uh, Wednesday, Wednesday and Thursday. There is no school for Wednesday and Thursday. Yeah, I just realized. Yeah. <laughs> so I think we have another. Time. Have you seen an announcement? There is no school on Wednesday. Thursday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have sent yes, like yes, yes. Eight, wait, not eighteen. Sorry. Um, For me, is I'm not sure yet. <laughs> I, they, they have sent like, eighteen, nineteen. I think yeah, eighteen, nineteen, oh. seventeen, eighteen. I don't know. It's but, seventeen, eighteen. Seventeen, eighteen. Oh, you would you you would be very sad for that. Oh my god. Yeah. Very sad for that. Yeah, but but I'm uh, crying but, already. Right, show is on show is on Friday, right? Okay. Okay, we will meet on Friday, Friday, not on Thursday. Okay. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Friday, so I think we have no time to do the home. Oh, uh, okay, okay. <laughs> okay. So thank you, Tisha. So bye bye. Bye. Bye bye. See you on Friday. Thank you, sir. Uh, yeah. Thank you so much. Thank yeah. you. Bye bye. bye, -bye.